Hello guys, today I want to quickly run through all the free resources that I've published over the years around Laravel because I think some of you don't know some of my published things. So let's see what I can offer for you for free and what you can subscribe to or follow. So first, of course, I start with this Laravel channel, Laravel Daily. I've just checked before this video, it's 872 videos published at the moment of shooting this video, 84,000 subscribers, daily videos, including weekends for a year or so. So subscribe if you haven't yet. And by the way, all the links will be in the description below. So that's number one, YouTube channel. Resource number two is Laravel Learning Path. So the path how to learn Laravel step by step, especially if you're new to Laravel, so you don't know where to start. And official documentation is of course not chronological of where you can begin and what to do next. So I've done the research and the work to compile the beginner level and then step by step, what do you need to know for beginner level with the links to the official documentation, to my own videos, sometimes to my own courses if I have something and sometimes to my video challenges with question mark. And at the end of each level, there's also a challenge for you to create the project based on the skills of that level. So in the beginner demo project, it's personal blog and then advanced beginner. That's my own term that I use. So advanced beginners or advanced juniors. And this is where, in my opinion, you can get your first job or freelance gig after covering the advanced beginner level. So beginner level is for just understanding the syntax and creating something. But to get a job, you need to be a bit more advanced. So some topics here and at the end of this level, you need to be able to create a simple CRM as an example. And then there's mid-level and senior level. So you can take a look at that repository, bookmark it, start it, watch it. And I will keep updating that for Laravel 9 and beyond. Again, the link will be in the description below. Resource number three is another free repository on GitHub called Laravel Tips. I'm a big fan of sharing quick tips on Twitter and here on YouTube in the community tab and sometimes even on YouTube videos compiled into some kind of nine tips about something. And over the years I've gathered a lot of them and at some point I decided to transform it into a GitHub repository which is public. Then with the help of other GitHub users I expanded into more tips and now grouped into separate markdown files. So if you click for example on database models and eloquent. The list is pretty big. And for example, cloning the query is like this. Then there's a tip about where date and where month and stuff like that. Then there's increment and there are in total more than 250 tips. And from time to time, I update that repository with new tips from last month or something. So you again can watch the repository, start it and just from time to time, take a look at the tips pretty randomly. Resource number four is laravelexamples.com, which I launched in 2021 after noticing that there is not too many real examples of real projects in addition to tutorials. So usually tutorials are online like hello world style with simple examples, but quite far from real projects with real code. And there's quite a lot of open source projects available of Laravel. So I decided to gather them, process them for random examples around tags, like for example, Livewire, Jetstream, some packages, some collection methods, some patterns, like for example, service providers, events and listeners, traits and stuff like that. So you can browse those tag by tag. So let's take a look, for example, at service classes, how different repositories use service classes. Let's click at one example of Monica CRM open source project. So there is a create user service with some methods and it is called from invitation controller like this. So app create user service execute. And there's also another link to the list of all the open source projects, currently 94 projects by default ordered by the amount of stars. So kind of popularity. And also you can check the newest edit. We don't add too many new projects. There are not too many launched actually, but if I notice something on Twitter or elsewhere, it can be potentially added. So Laravel example, Samples.com. Resource number five is where it all began for me. In 2015, I started learning Laravel and started blogging about it on my blog laraveldaily.com. This is where it all started. This is where the name comes from because I wanted to share the things that I've learned daily. It wasn't always daily. Only now I got back to my roots of daily publishing in this form of this video channel, Laravel Daily, but this is the origin. And for quite a while, I haven't written on the blog really actively because I switched more into video formats 
here on YouTube because the audience is bigger now and people prefer video lessons over text and I don't have enough time to cover both text and video. So this blog is not that active. So in 2021, I've released three articles. Then in 2020, it was just the tips. And then there was much more activity in 29 and before that. So there are quite a lot of older articles, some of them irrelevant, some of them need to be updated maybe. In total, around 300 articles. It's still popular, so if I take a look at Google Analytics, it's still visited by a few thousand people per day, mostly from Google, Googling some particular problem which I've encountered myself and blogged about it. So you can check out my blog, laravaldaily.com. Resource number six is actually linked at the very top of that blog. It's my newsletter. So every Thursday I send a newsletter to currently 6,000 subscribers. So this number should be updated. It's just a recap of everything I found over that week. New tweets, new articles, new links, new launches, both from myself and from the community. So it's usually around 20 to 30 links to read. Let's take a look at some example. There's a link to past newsletter issues. And the last one was this. So nothing really fancy, just the link and some description. And where is it from? So my own links and then from Laravel community, a lot of random tips, tools, and articles. So if you want to get that every Thursday, subscribe to the newsletter. The link will be also in the description below. Resource number seven is GitHub account of Laravel Daily. So over the years, I've created so many demo projects, both small and big, and they are all in here on GitHub, a lot of them public. So more than 200 repositories are public. So you can browse around, take a look at the more popular ones or updated ones. GitHub is not the best place to be browsing if you want to have a structured data of what it's all about. There is some type and sorting in language, but it's not that useful. So you can sort by stars, for example, and we have some packages. So the same Laravel tips and roadmap is coming here, but also we have a package Laravel invoices, old quick admin, which is not supported anymore. Laravel starters is supported, which is pretty new. Laravel charts package and a lot of demo projects from over the years. So you can browse around and take a look at the repositories. And finally, resource number eight is Twitter. And in fact, two Twitter accounts. One is my personal as Povilus Corp. And another one is kind of official Laravel daily, daily Laravel. So if you want strictly Laravel tips, I share a lot of things and articles and my own old articles. I'm retweeting that automatically at daily Laravel. So this is the Twitter handle because Laravel daily was occupied at the moment. So I've chosen daily Laravel. So every day you will find like a few dozens of tweets with links to the articles, both my own and from someone else. Or you can follow me personally. And in last months, I became really active on my personal Twitter. And that actually paid off in my 2021 career growth as content creator. I keep retweeting other people's tweets, both on Laravel and on just general content creation, productivity, motivation, some family stuff. Also resharing my videos from time to time some memes and basically everything that makes me a human while also helping Laravel developers. So these were all free resources, eight free resources where I can share my Laravel knowledge, but also if you want to support my journey and support me updating those free resources, you can do that by purchasing one of my premium products. So courses, yearly membership is the best thing to do because currently I have 24 courses and I will shoot more in 2022. So you can subscribe to yearly membership. Also, you can generate Laravel admin panel quickly with quickadminpanel.com, which is on the market since 2016, from what I remember. So trusted by a lot of developers and you can join them. Also, in the beginning of 2020, I released the kit for Livewire because I'm quite a big fan of Livewire. If you haven't noticed yet from this channel, I shoot quite a lot about Livewire. So I add more and more components to my live wire kit and you can purchase them all for currently $29. And finally, my latest experiment kind of experiment in premium products is Gumroad, where I'm planning to sell my premium scripts and maybe eBooks in the future. So something that can be compiled in a downloadable format, like for example, my first experiment is Laraquiz system with Laravel and Livewire, which you can purchase for $19 and get the source code with documentation, with access to GitHub, kind of like Code Canyon, but just my own personal gum road. And you will see quite a few new things here in 2022. At least in the beginning, I have a few premium products here in plans. So follow me on Twitter for the updates or this YouTube channel or wherever you want to follow me from the resources that I've mentioned in this video. I hope they're all helpful. 
which is your favorite and which one can I improve in some way, shoot in the comments below and see you guys in other videos.